What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John from the Gamer Dude here, welcoming you guys back to another episode of the Saga Walk. Whoo! Okay, we got through the things we needed to get through. The two fights are super ridiculously easy, so I'm so glad I freaking said, y'all, y'all don't need it. It was literally a Remoraid and some other garbage Pokemon that's like, like some Nidoran type thing. I was like, yeah, you guys didn't need to watch that garbage, so <laughs> good thing I was smart about it. But anyway, here's our team. Yeah, Quiverius took five points of damage in those two battles. That's how trash it was. So, good call. Yeah, I love when I actually trust myself, and it is a great decision. Oh my gosh, it's almost like that's what it's supposed to happen. Um, anyways, today, 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 we have an important trainer battle. Not really. Like... It depends on your definition of important, because uh, we're gonna get slapped. That's why I'm at 1080p. Um, I almost wanted to go to 4K on this episode, but then I was like, as soon as I got to 4K, I'm losing a mon. So nope. Definitely not an excuse. This this row is definitely not an excuse to cut down my editing for the week. Definitely not. No, could not ever. I would not that mean. No, but honestly. It was something that was considered. Also, if you guys are seeing that I'm not paying the most attention, I need to get make sure that uh, my video for today goes up because um, things happened uh, very quickly. So I was like, oh, great. Good to know. Um, but I want to say it's in here, right? It would be like Sona 13 or something. Yeah, Sona 13. Awesome. I figured it out. It's just, it's uploading now. Cool. We're, we got challenged by Guzma and his Guzma. Excuse me, Guzma. That was supposed to be a joke. And now it's not a joke. <laughs> oh, no. I. Why? <laughs> Let's start off this way with a lovely Mega Camera up lead. Pyduck, I know, I swear I should leave with you, and I don't, and I wish I did most of the time. But it's fine, Pyduck. Everything's okay. Don't make me, don't be mad at me. What'd you even try and use? I think it was, was it a, did you just try and use? I'm not quite sure what it tried to use. Did nothing to me, though. It didn't do his tapus thing, either. Bye, camera up. Have a good day. Pyduck's just gonna stay in and take care of everything because it's Pyduck, and that's what Pyduck's designed to do, I guess. Pyduck's just like, nope, I'm mad at you. You didn't let me take care of it. And it's like, okay. Oh, Snuggle Bob. Um. Oh, I hate that decision because it's actually not a bad situation. Oh. I'm going to say mm, no. I'm going to say no. Uh, I'm going to say no. This could haunt me, but it's fine. Oh, okay. My worry. Oh, Lorantis. Hey, look at that. That's a bug type Pokemon. Um, yeah, that one's one that could be haunting in the future. Lorantis is regularly bugged, so this is fine. Yep. Even though the steel flying is quad resisted, we should be okay. Hi, Lorantis. Desolate. Oh my gosh. This thing's. Uh, I forgot this thing got desolate land. This thing's gonna get absolutely murdered. Ye was 100% the right choice. Good thing. Good thing we sent Ye in. I was like, Ye's fine. Ye can handle it. Quivarius, you can take a backseat for a little bit. Not really, because you're Quiverius Basculin. Well, oh, Snugglebop doesn't have Snugglebop doesn't have um that. Snugglebop really needs <clears throat> a grass type attacking move. Basculin. There you go. I get. See, I mean, here's the thing, though. Is if it does not have a grass type, if it, once Snugglebob gets a grass type attacking move, then Satan really just doesn't get used, which is like really sad for this thing. Because again, you, you, you'd kind of look at this and be like, it's a Garatina, like why is it not being used? It's because honestly, it doesn't, there's really no point for it to be used most of the time. And it's just like, okay, uh, grass and fairy, well, I know who's going in now. Hi, yay. 
This is a sad battle. This is a pretty sad battle. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit saddened by this result. Shenotic's gonna get murked. Yay! Yay! Just straight up murked two Pokemon and just said, "No, I don't care. I'm murking them. Like they're gonna get murked, and you're gonna deal with it, and whatever." It's like, okay, yay! You didn't really need to be this crazy. Oh, <sighs> yay! Yay is on a, on a tirade, and you know what? Let, we gotta let her. We gotta let her go on her tirade every once in a while. It's not like an out of this world tirade status. It's a tirade nonetheless. Satan wants to learn Shadow Force. Uh, no. Okay, what? Uh, you know, every game makes improvements and then d makes um, dumb decisions. Oh, hi, Registeel. Um, it's a Registeel. I'm staying in, actually. Registeel is like that half half defensiveness. So, I'm going to go ahead and press up his blades because that's going to do more. As long as I hit, obviously. Good job, yay. It's like under the condition that I hit, which both of them are low accuracy moves, so it was fine. Iron Tail, nothing. Wow, that was a lot more than nothing, but... Unless you heal, which you're not... Well, you did heal, just in a different way. Okay, well, that's good to know. I should probably heal Yay now. Oh, great. Uh, of course, like, why would you not have... Why would you not have water absorb, you know? Or else it would have died already. The one thing that prevented your death. Good job. Good job, Guzma. Honestly, I feel like Guzma is really good at that. It's like, oh, there's one thing that prevents my death? Oh, yeah, let me just have that real quick. Let me just pro play AI this. It's like, Guzma has been the biggest challenge, I think, in this run. Sorry, I'm like... I'm kind of... I'm quite shocked that of all people that Guzma is the challenge of the run. Because I don't think I would have expected that. Well, I know I didn't expect that. I expected, like, how to be more of a challenge on the run. But it's it really has been Guzma. Guzma's been the the painstakingly annoying one. Um, for a second I thought that was that a shock. It was, or uh, Super Fang. I was like, "Ow, that hurts." It was not Super Fang, so it did not hurt. It was some Fang move, probably like Hyper Fang or something. Oh my gosh, I lost. Blah 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 blah. I cannot believe it. What is wrong with you? I cannot believe that I lost to you. It's like not okay. Go on through. It's fine. I'm just not triggered at all. Yes, you are. Admit it. Admit your triggerance. Uh, you know what? Pyduck, you're getting your wish. Everything's been needing Pyduck. Pyduck is the ace because of it. Freaking Pyduck. You're getting to be the lead of the team. And now we'll run into a grass type and Equivarius. Bet. I almost, I almost am like, I'm almost dead certain that she's going to leave with a grass type now. Just because it's right when we don't need it is exactly what is going to happen. It's been a while since I've seen you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you actually came. Oh my gosh, you know each other. You're the reason my daughter is so terrible. Oh, triggered. You're not beautiful enough for me. Wow. I cannot believe that your daughter's not beautiful enough for you. You are a triggering parent. I mean, that's the point. We need to save Nebby. Oh my gosh. We don't need to save Nebby. I have one. Hey, I can... I, I'll trade you my Nebby. I have a Nebby of my own. And then you can give me, like, a... TM! For... Flare Blitz, so I can put it on Snuggle Bop. Yes, <laughs> I would give I would give Snuggle Bop Flare Blitz too. Why not? You know. Oh my gosh, you put it in a box. Ugh, I cannot believe you did this. I mean, I believe it. It's loose. I mean, she's insane. She's she's the definition of insanity. Freezing all of these Pokemon. What do you think of my Pokemon collection? I froze them so that they can stay alive forever in a cryogenic chamber. Jeez. This does not get any better for our Lusamine and Lily. It's like, they're in a cryogenic chamber. Everything's okay. They're going to outlive everything. And Hal's just like, hi, guys. I exist now. And Hal's like, you're like, Hal, just go back go back home. 
Just that's all you need is to go back home. Also, Gladion's like, I cannot believe that you would let this happen. You gotta let them free and let them run wild. And every, then, then we get this cutscene thing, and you're, everyone's like, Oh my gosh, you're the one who took my type No, All I ever did was give you love, and you betrayed me. You have no right to ask for my attention now. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I could did not believe that everybody in this room that had blonde hair and green eyes uh, were all together. And it's not like, you know, freaking Gladion knew the place or anything. You know, how you freaking silly willy billy goat. Oh my gosh, you trapped Cosmog in there. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that. Nebby's going to be so mad. He'll die. I don't care if he was going to die. He's your best friend, and I'm going to murder that thing, too. Because that way, you can experience the pain that you gave me. This is literally all. I'm going to make it make a wormhole for me. Have I not seen this cutscene ever? I don't recognize this cutscene. Have I really just played mainly Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? Well, no, I've had to have seen this cutscene. You see. All over Lola. Maybe I saw it in Sun, and that's why I'm confused. Ugh, even the most noisy, even you must be so noisy, even inside there. You want an annoying Pokemon? The only thing I need from you is your power. But I will admit, it looks like your power has served me well. There should be plenty of beautiful beasts around the Alola as we speak. I call up Holy Melee. Ah! Don't I fight her? I swear I fight her now, right? Or do I not fight her now? I've got to fight her now. Okay, this is just... Dude, cutscenes galore, guys. Welcome to... Uh, today, we are going to just watch all the cutscenes. That's an easy clap for Tapu Coco. Easy clap. We're just going to see all of them in this one cutscene. Hi, Guzma. The experiment was a success. Looks like it's time to catch the wicked Ultra Beast and beat down these uh, annoying upstarts. You're right. Guzma, quiet those children for me. I don't want to hear anything from them. Do we fight him again? Wait. We don't fight him again, right? We fight Lusamine, right? We don't go back to back Guzma fights. Okay, yeah, 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 Okay, I'm not dumb. I thought, I was like, I'm not dumb. No, Hal's like, I'll take care of Guzma. Which, I mean, Hal's gonna lose because his team is trash, but it's fine. Hi, Lusamine. How are you? <sighs> okay, first Lusamine fight. And she sends out a Mega Steelix to start because, of course, she does. No, it's just, it's just Shiny Steelix. You know, she has to have a heart of gold. Yeah, oh, wait, it's still ground. It's still ground. It's still ground. We're fine. We're chill. Look at us. You know... Piduck needed to be the lead of the team, okay? Piduck is the captain, okay? It's still ground, right? I'm not silly. I might be silly. Uh, no, I was not silly. Earthquake to start out with the Steelix is going to hurt uh, quite a bit because, of course... And no, I actually didn't. That did a lot less than I expected. Okay. You know what? I'm fine with that. Now I'm going to Water Pulse because it's Joy's favorite move, and to kill the first Pokemon with Joy's favorite move is uh, good. Steelix fainted. Cool. Piduck out here just 
doing everything for us. Because of course, like I said, I'm just shocked that it's Pyduck that's doing it. Like, if you would have told me that Pyduck, when you added Pyduck to the team, it would change everything. I would tell you, you're lying. There's no way. <laughs> yes, there's a way. Um, I'm going to go into Bry. I trust Thousand Arrows a lot more than Precipice Blades. Thousand Arrows is, uh, even though it's less base power, I have a lot more attacks, so it's comparable. Crap. Uh, of course, Jolteon had Imposter. I mean, at least I didn't send, like, at least out of all Pokemon. Oh, boy. That did a lot, Jolteon. Also, with that diversity of a moveset, how am I going to deal with that? Oh, jeez, Louise. This is bad. <laughs> oh, no. Because that did it over half to Bry. And I know for a fact it's Jolteon, so it's faster. Thousand Arrows, Psychic Things. Why is my moveset actually really good? Oh, boy. My moveset is super effective against everything except for Pyduck. Gosh dang it, Lusmeen. The only way to beat me is by beating me. By being me. And you're doing it effectively and I hate it. Okay, um... Crap. That did way more than half. And, I mean, I know my defenses aren't great. Let's see what my defenses are at, actually. 99. Ooh, that's actually a lot better than I expected. 120. Yay's at 108. Yay has more defense. And about the same. So, Yay is actually going to be... Okay. Yay's got to be our option, then. And then I... Uh, Sparkling Aria. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's gonna be like 40. 140. Look at we go! Yeah! Okay, I like when I'm like on target because that makes me feel better. Sparkling Aria, I am faster somehow, which is fine. I think it actually did copy over my speed stat and I lost the speed time, but it's fine. I don't want to risk it. Yay, took care of it. Things are, we're, we're, it's gonna be, we're sailing, we're sailing, we're sailing, we're sailing. Bye, Electric Field Marowak. Hey, uh, Pyduck. That's a you thing. That's a you problem. Go for it. Pyduck taking charge. I don't know why Pyduck's taking charge. I don't know what the heck's going on. What what is whatever's in Pyduck's mind that's causing this. You go for it. Also, I didn't even think about it that, that there's an Alolan Marowak. But um, oh no 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 no! Give me give me that para. Give me the para. Give me the para. Give me the para. That's not the button I meant to click. Oh my gosh. I did not need a scare like that. Also, I know I'm faster. So whatever Shadow Force does, it's going to hit like a truck. Yeah! Glad I healed. Okay. But I am faster and a Scald should kill. Yeah. Gosh, Ledian. Oh, Ledian, that's fine. Ledian, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go into Quivarius. No, I actually like the idea of Quivarius taking a backseat. We're gonna go into Yay. Quivarius kind of backseating this is nice because I don't have to worry. Like, not using Quivarius feels good. It feels a lot better. Um, especially when it's technically not necessarily the wrong play to go into Yay. Because I think Quivarius would have done about the same amount of damage. The difference is that Quivarius can heal, whereas uh, Ye cannot. But, eh. Eh is a great reaction to that. Eh, that's not a problem. Yeah, Ye's defense is coming in clutch right now. Snugglebop leveled up. S oh, huh, she has a Celesteel of her own. Oh, nah. No. Okay. You know, we knew this was coming. That it was gonna happen at some point eventually. 
I think Ye is our better option. Because the moveset's going to stay the same, or relatively the same, I should say. Oblivion Wing. Because, I mean, it didn't learn very many moves. So it should have, a, like, similar movesets to Quivarius. I'm staying in with Ye. We're going to have to hit it with Fire. But I'm sure it has Oblivion Wing still. As far as Painful Bunker, I don't know if it has that. Inferno. Oh, that's right. Okay, it had. A, I remember it trying to learn Inferno, and I said no because it's fifty base or fifty percent accurate. Oh boy. Okay. It dazzling gleam. It might not have ever had a chance to learn. Actually, shift gear. Oh, I remember that one too. Okay. It's got Oblivion Wing though in the back. Okay, so that balanced an Oblivion Wing. It's not using it because it doesn't need to heal. Nice miss. Jeez. Poor Telescula. Okay, so now I can see. Just yay! Oh my gosh, yay! You lucky dog. Okay, now Oblivion Wing should come up. Inferno! Yes! Ah, uh, well, it's okay. Yay, it's fine. It's fine. You know what? I'm not even going to get mad at that. I can't even get mad at that. Heal? No. She debated healing, though, and I don't like that. That pause meant she was debating things. Oh, she hit it. Okay. That's why she didn't go for it. I knew that! I almost lost EA because I was stupid. I almost lost EA to the stupidest thing ever. 100% forgetting about that. Like, I know I have it, but I don't have to think about it because it's not... Uh, that would have been... And Celestia is a tank. Oh! oh, boy. That would have been really bad. That could have been, like, the worst death of the series. Um, 100% could have been. Entei. Entei is a rubble maker, too. Um, I think Pyduck's the option, and then we just heal Pyduck, and then we live with whatever happens. Gosh, that could have been so bad. <laughs> that really could have been like the worst possible situation. But you know what? We did good. We didn't actually die. So thank goodness there. Um, dude, that would have been, I would have been so mad. I, like, we got to admit that. I would have been so upset if I would have lost them on to something like that. Because I was not paying attention or my brain wasn't like, oh, you have innards out. And I know you have innards out. Like, oh, that was a critical... Come on. Burn? Oh, actually, I can't. Never mind. What am I doing? Can I get a burn on a fire type? That'd be a great idea. I would love that. I think that doesn't work like that, but okay. Whew. That was almost death to, uh, to yay. Pie dog. Uh, Brian wants outrage. Uh, I'm going to say no. Yeah, I'm going to say no. Bri, you don't need it. Oh, I cannot believe that. I don't care. I'm going to go into the ultra wormhole. The ultra worm space. Bye, guys. Catch me in nine levels.
goodness gracious, I'm so glad you're all unharmed. You don't have how to think. How's pointless most of these adventures? <laughs> we should all rest. When you get stuck in mid cutscene. Anyways, well, in the next episode of this series, we will be going to tackle uh, a lot. A lot, a lot will happen in the next episode. Oh, wait, do I have to go straight? Yeah, we'll be tackling a lot, a lot. And, uh, you know, we're going to get wardrobe changes and a bunch of different things. But, you know, maybe I should, like, purchase some wardrobe stuff because honestly. What else am I going to use this 200,000 yen thing that I have? Like, I have way too much yen to utilize. And it's just like, okay. Like. Look at my Z-powered form. This was so, like. Not triggering. That's not the right word. It was so, uh, cringe-worthy. She's like, look at my z power form. It's like, no, I'd rather not, you know. Oh, we get a Master Ball. Didn't even remember I got that there, not gonna lie. <laughs> I can get a Legendary now. That's probably what I'll use it on, is the level 70. More than likely, knowing me. Bye, y'all. But yeah, so as this cutscene kind of plays, we'll meet you guys in uh, Pony Pony Island. Um, because yeah, there's so much dialogue here. It's like, wow, okay. I didn't realize there was so much dialogue, but the fact that we're at Pony Pony Island a little bit faster than I anticipated means that there are things to come for sure. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all and bye.